Hey, welcome back to the backlog. I'm doing the intro for this episode. Um, we're going to be opening more packs of the Draconic Roar Digimon card game. So I love forcing people to do my intro because they never know what to do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're getting back into this stuff. So uh, Kai's put all the cards into big old piles over there. So you can kind of see them. Um, yeah. And we'll also... We have a lot more light coming this way, so it should be easier to see card packs now. So, we've definitely optimized. Okay. Let's see if you can see this guy. Oh, definitely a lot better. Yeah, you can see Hydramon a whole lot better Yeah, now. if you missed Hydramon, that's what he's supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. All right, time to open this next pack. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just... We, we took a break to eat some pizza. Yeah. And uh, we just had to rethink our strategy yeah. so we will improve we will improve all right let's flip it over all right then now we got ourselves another cyber Dramon. just remember if they're cards from prior episodes we're going to skip them and if you want to see their effects in full go back to a prior episode because i want to get more horror views <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to get views i tell you all right so cyber Dramon. all right Gato Mon, so Gato Mon. We got her. Mm hmm. S Snow Agumon, playing with his balls again. Damn. All right, got ourselves another Air Dramon. We got ourselves another X Tyranamon. Got ourselves another Flame Dramon. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one was in the first episode. God, this is what happens when you eat. And then you record? Yeah. Your body goes, ah! That's great. It always does. Anyway, we got ourselves another Megiddo Flame. I really want to get a Megidramon. I think that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, new card. All right. New card. We got a new Paildramon. It's red and purple this time. So, mm -hmm. wait, did Dino Beamon have digital illusion costs? Did he? Let's, you can check He's through it real quick. Me. He's like near the bottom, isn't he? Yeah. He's sort of. I organized them so they're easy. Yeah, he had a Digivolution cost, so it's the same. We never, I don't think we showed that one off, but we showed him off, but he was like the card topper of everything. But yeah. anyway, so we got Pyildramon. He is a zero from a champion red and purple. So I guess it's asking for like Shadramon Sh or Shayramon and Flamedramon to be his like materials. Yeah. So anyway, let's this up. Anyway. Zero from a Digivolving with that. Then when Digivolving, uh, when DNA Digivolving, you may play one Dino Beamon for your trash without its cost. So that's pretty good, just to play another ultimate straight to the field. Mm -hmm. Then on Deletion, you may play one Vmon from your trash without paying its cost. So that's kind of like the same thing as Imperial Dramon was, right? Yeah. As long as I remember. All right. And then Inherited, uh, while this Digimon has Imperial Dramon in its name, it gains security attack plus one. So, that's pretty good. And it works for Imperial Dramon, Fighter, and Dragon. So, I wonder if we're going to get a Dragon mode. That'd be cool. Alright, next up, it's Blue Core Dramon. We got Green Core Dramon earlier, but now we've got a Blue Core Dramon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it kind of just looks like the same art, just not in different directions. So, anyway, he is a two from Draco Mon. Has evade just like Wing Dramon had. Yeah. And while well, this Digimon has Dramon or X Xamon in its name, it gains evade. That's the same ability as Wing Dramon. So does it get evade twice? Mm. Is it? Or maybe it just stacks on top. It's just yeah. you get evade again, but it doesn't add anything. Hmm. Seems like that would be its real explanation. So. If you're running this in an Examon deck, maybe this card is not as useful, but who knows. All right, next. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to skip a card real quick. Oh, but it was a new one. Yeah, it's a new one. Missymon. Missymon. Let me put that boy over there. He is an entraining level for, I'm guessing, probably Cyber Dramon. I wonder, oh, those little guys think is Bombomon or something, or hmm. Bobomon. It's, uh, it's a fresh level. Anyway. Is he, he's like coming out of an airfield to kill people. <laughs> anyway, his inherited is your opponent's turn. While you have another Digimon with D-Brigade in its traits, 
I'm guessing he's the in training for Command Drawn, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this Digimon gains reboot. So, during your opponent's suspend phase, unsuspend phase, you unsuspend as well. At least that Digimon. So, all right. That's better than just, like, you know, getting DP. Because just getting DP is not super useful. So, next up, we already saw this one. But this one is called Hyper Infinity Cannon. And this is uh, Chaos Dramon's uh, option card. And its ability is activate main effect for security. But, well, you have a level 6 Digimon with machine and its traits in play. You may use this card without meeting color requirements. And main, Digivolve 3, one of your opponent's Digimon. Then you may place one card with Cyborg and its traits from your hand or trash under one of your level 6 Machine Digimon. As its bottom Digivolution card to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. So it's like building your Digivolution stuff while also deleting stuff. So, not a bad card. It's got some really cool art, though. Of him firing out of his cannons. Yeah. So, next up. Or I guess this is the uh, last one in here. This one looks Entmon. pretty scary. Entmon. He's like a... Like a dinosaur tree thing i don't know Mm. very interesting looking digimon and his ability he has no inherited and uh his ability is digisorption 3 which means when one of your digimon digivolves into this card from your hand you may suspend one of your digimon to reduce the memory cost (gasps) of the digivolution by three so if you do this you could digivolve into an ultimate for one which is pretty good and then, it's all your ability. When digivolving, if you have two or more suspended Digimon in play, unsuspend this Digimon. So, now I kind of get it. You know, like the, uh, the Parasaurus and the uh, Torpiza one? Toro Pisa? Those guys suspend themselves. So if they do that, then he, this Entmon, can then unsuspend. Or maybe if you have the one under it suspended, you can unsuspend this one so you can attack twice. Uh. So, not bad, not bad. All right, here is your pack to open. Here's my pack. We could open them on screen, but that would involve us like switching places since I'm the one in front of the uh, the uh, webcam. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. All right, we got a copy. Here we go. So now we've got Gatomon again. Let's see. Move them off to the side. Got another Snow Agumon. It feels like we've got almost every common, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got another Airdramon. This one, we haven't seen this one we've in a while. We've had Crabmon. Yep, we've had Crabmon. Uh, we've had yeah. Laser Cannon before. We've had Exa, X Tyranimon. All right, we've had Flame Dramon. We've had Vorvomon. We've had Vigermon. Oh, this one's new. We've got Groundermon here. He's the other ultimate level version of a uh, Dracomon. Mm. So he's supposed to. I guess these guys could go on top of either Cordermon, but because they've got like the dual Digivolution mm. color, so it really don't matter there. But it's Digivolve three from Cordermon. It has Blocker. Your turn, when Xmon is in your hand, you can treat this Digimon as a level 6. And uh, at the end of your turn, you can DNA Digivolve him. Hmm. So it's pretty much the same thing as the Winged Dramon, but just for the other side. And also, Digimon gains Blocker for Inherited. So the same thing as the Green Core Dramon. So kind of like they're, they're two sides of the same coin. Just one gives Evade, the other gives Blocker. So we got ourselves another Infinity Hyper Infinity Cannon. And then another Entmon. Finding copies here today. So, that was a very lackluster foil. Because it was the same cards. Yeah. I wonder how you could run into that. I don't think I've ever run into something like that. Alright. So, pull this out. Uh. (laughs) Noises are cool. Cool Cat likes to make noises. That's actually something he does in the movie, so... Anyway, got ourselves another Crabmon, mm-hmm. another Laser Cannon. A lot of doubles. 
another Agumon. I'm guessing that's because it's an EX, and usually those tend to have a lot of copies. Let's see, another Torapizamon, another Ebijamon, another Flareezamon, another Gilmon. Oh, oh, this is new. We War got Growlmon. War Growlmon, or uh, Megalo Growlmon if you're in Japan. I wonder, he's just like hanging out under a, a road, I guess. Yeah. Just wants people dead. Okay. He has no inherited, but his ability, Digivolve 3 from a level 4 contain, if, from level 4, if name contains Growlmon. So, he's a, a 3 Digivolution. So, not bad, I guess. Then, when Digivolving, both players trash the top 3 cards of their decks. Then if a player has 5 or more cards in their trash, you may play 1. Oh god, my stomach. Alright. You may play one Gilmon or Takato from your hand or trash without paying its memory costs. So, that'd probably be better just to get a Takato out on the field since Tamers are pretty damn useful. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. Let it pass. Mm. We got ourselves another Jazamon. Oh, you want to pull it out? There you go. Yeah. All right. Got ourselves another Cordramon Green. All right. So, this one's, Dor this one's name Dorbikmon. is Dorbikmon. I guess it's David Dobrik. <laughs> oh, he's also, if you look at the very bottom, he's a Digicross Digimon. Mm. So, uh, you can Digicross minus two if you have five Digimon cards with different names, so dragon traits on play, from your hand or or battle area under this card. So, I guess if you had, like, Megidramon, uh, Goldramon, Magnadramon, and, uh, what's it called? There's one last one. Azulongmon in your uh, field or hand. You could then, four times two, you could take down eight memory from that. But if you have one last one, I guess, maybe Examon or Slayer Jamon or uh, Break Jamon, then he could be like a three cost play. So, not bad. He, he even has some Digimon under him. He's got like Ground, he's got Cordramon, he's got Dark Florizamon. So, interesting. All right, David Dobrikmon. <laughs> yeah. All right, his abilities are Rush, which means it can attack right when it gets played. And then on play, I can smash this thing. Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. For each card with Dragon in its traits in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, add 2,000 DP to the maximum DP you can choose of this effect. So if you've done... The Digicrossing to put like five cards under your five. You could delete a Digimon with 13,000 like DP. No problem. That's not bad. Not bad. Pretty cool mega. So, and finally, we got. Oh, we finally have it. There it is. Trial, the, thing. the Trial of the Four Great Dragons. So, it's got all the four great dragons on him. And its ability, for one, its security just means place it into the battle area. But it, its ability is main, draw one, then place this card into your battle area for eight memory. So this, might, this must be useful. And its delay effect, which means it stays on the field and gets trashed at some point when you want to activate this effect. Hmm. Play one Digimon card with the four great dragons in its traits from your hand without paying memory costs. This Digimon, uh, this, the Digimon played by this effect can't Digivolve to level seven at the end of your opponent's next turn delete the Digimon. So it's kind of just like rush him out, attack once, and then he'll die the next turn. So, but I think it's more of like, it. this just needs to stay on the field to activate more effects. Mm. So I'm guessing that's what its actual thought was. Mm. All right, your turn. Okay. We're starting to rush through these since we're just finding a lot of copies. Yeah. Hold on. Rip them asunder. Yeah. That one's good. All right. Man, look, it's a, it's one of the four great dragons. It's Agumon. Wow. <laughs> Even though he's a dinosaur. He's a great dragon. Yep, he's such a great dragon. All right, so we got Agumon again. We've seen him before. Toro, Toro Piamon again. Abidramon again. Majiramon. Megido Flame. Mm. Florizamon. Gilmon. Oh, is this... No, we haven't seen this one before. Jizzardmon. This is Jizzardmon, or Jizzardmon, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, 
It has abilities. It definitely has those. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so on play, feel the top four cards of your deck. Add one card with rock. With rock. Pick up rock monster. <laughs> yes. Uh, with Rock Dragon, Earth Dragon, Bird Dragon, Machine Dragon, or Sky Dragon in its name, or in its traits, and one Hina among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of the deck. And then, while this Digimon has an on-play effect, it gains 1,000 BP. It seems like everything in these stacks it seems to. Yeah. So it would be like, you got a very big hitter at the very end. Yeah. So, eh, not bad. We still need a Hina if we even need to want to make a deck out of these. Yeah. We've seen Plesiomon before. We've seen Dino Beemon before. Oh, we have another David Dobrik Mon. He's actually a rare. He's not a super yeah. rare. And then finally, ooh. Vol volcanic Dramon. I think I have a Volcanic Dramon, but it's not as cool as this one. This one is a super rare, so that's pretty damn cool. He's the Mega for Vorvo Mon, and uh, his ability is on play. So <laughs> this for is 12. for 12. Uh, delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. If no Digimon is deleted, your opponent can't play Digimon with 5,000 DP or less for the end of the turn. So this is pretty much play it and wipe out the entire, not the entire field, but one really weak Digimon, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like that effect. Well, wait, okay. So it's... your opponent can't play Digimon with 5,000 DP or less until the end of their turn. Only, I'd say that's pretty good. Only if you can't activate the first part of the effect. Oh. So you have to, like, it's a very specific, situational Digimon, I'd say. And then when attacking, if you have a Tamer in play, trash one card from the top of your opponent's security stack. Now that's a good ability, so that would be more worth it to Digivolve through to. So if you can find a Tamer, which would probably be Hina. Mm -hmm. So I opened up the last one, right? So, or did you just open I, up I one? opened up the last one. Okay, so I'll open up this one now. We're doing good on time. Let's see. I really... What am I aiming for? I'm just kind of aiming for, like... Something cool, honestly. I'm aiming for Magidramon, because I think that would be a really cool card. All right. <sighs> Trash. All righty, then. Got ourselves another Magiramon. Another Commandramon. Another Piledramon. Another Burger. Burger. Another Dark Tyranamon. Another Volktramon. I haven't seen him in a while. Another Growlmon. Another Wingdramon. Uh, another Vorvomon. Another Vidramon. Alright, something different. We got ourselves a Mega Seedramon. So, not Waru Seedramon, Mega Seedramon. So, pretty cool looking guy. Wasn't that. Seedramon uh, was like the. Uh, the partner of one of the O2 kids. Not the main kids, but it was like one of those extra... It was like Mimi's friend from America or something, right? Oh, I have no something idea. Like, yeah, gotta rewatch. Actually, I don't even know if I want to rewatch O2. O2 was okay. Was it... What episode was uh, Seedramon, like, the villain for the episode? That was the one with Garurumon. When Garurumon... When Gabumon finally digivolved. Yeah, and they were the on that, time. like, weird bus thing. Yeah, the weird train in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. All right. His ability is when, tack when tacking, yes, when you're tacking, yes. when attacking, you may play one level three blue Digimon card from your from one from your Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. And then his inherited is when attacking once per turn, you may play a blue level three Digimon card from the Digivolution cards of one of your blue Digimon without playing the memory cost. So it doesn't have to be this one; it could be any of them. Mm -hmm. So. Could be useful. Anyway, this one. Ooh. So we pretty much... Actually, we're missing the ultimate level of Commandermon. This is the mega level of Commandermon. This is another super rare, so that's cool. Uh, Darkdramon being one of the arms of Chaos Mon. Pretty cool. The other arm could be like uh, Boncho Leomon or Veildramon. So pretty cool looking motherfucker. He's got some, some big ass knees. <laughs> He's got some very big knee pads. All right, so his ability is, when you would digivolve this card, uh, when you would digivolve into this card, you may return five cards with D Brigade in their traits from your trash to the top of your deck to reduce the Digivolution card by one for each card returned in this way. So you could 
lower his Digivolution cost down to zero if you had five Dig uh, D Brigade cards. Yeah. So that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Your turn. Once per turn, when you would play another Digimon with D Brigade in its traits, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost less than or equal to the Digimon you played, and unsuspend this Digimon. Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost less than or equal to the Digimon you played and unsuspend this Digimon. So you could like, if they played, if you played like a 12 play cost Digimon and you could delete one of their 12 play cost Digimon and then he just reboots. So not bad, not bad. Pretty cool art. Yeah. All right. So I opened that one. So it's your turn. All right. Just checking that E not eBay. Uh, Walmart wants to give me epic savings on gifts. Oh. Well, once you start selling goddamn Digimon cards, Walmart, maybe I'll start giving a shit. You guys don't. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. So we've got Commandramon. <sighs> Power Dramon. Rapatamon. Chris Power Dramon. Dark Tyranamon. Oh my god. Uh, that was. Oh, what a reach. Come on. Actually, there's another card right under him. Come on. Ah. You're gonna, gonna save him. I'm gonna die. No. Uh, the other card under him is We've another got... Growlmon. So, nothing much changed there. Yeah, not very exciting. Lavorvomon. Another Pomomon. We haven't seen that one in a while. Bebby Domon. Bebby Domon. Another what? Trials. That's yeah. good. We want to make a four great dragons deck. Yeah. And then another Mega Seedramon. Mm -hmm. So, pretty basic one right there. Yep. We can definitely start blowing through these as we've seen so many of them. Oh boy. But it seems like actually yellow and blue are still competing. Definitely as our... the top. We'll have to see who has the most Digimans at the very end. Mm. Oh god. I wonder if we could do like, we could try and make a deck. Out of these cards to fight against each other with. Like, kind yeah. of, it's like we're drafting in a way. Yeah. All right. Another Chris Palemon. Another God Flame. Mm. Another Parasaurusmon. Another Cyberdramon. Another Sandrizamon. Another Shadramon. Or Shadramon. Or Sha Shadramon. Nah. Shadramon. X V X Tyranamon, Groundramon, Gizardmon, Bevy Domon. Do we have four of these now? I guess so. Ooh, Ooh there he is. We got Magidramon. Pretty fucking cool art. Yeah, look at him. All right. Let's see his effect. He is a rare, actually. It's weird that we didn't encounter him earlier then. Yeah. Actually, one second. Okay, I was just checking. All right. This card. This card slash Digimon is also treated as chaos as if it's chaos gallant mon uh, on play delete one of your opponents level five or lower Digimon if this card was played by trial uh, add one to its maximum level of Digimon so you can delete this effect or delete with this effect uh, on deletion if you don't have a trial in play play trial from your hand to the battle area so hmm. Not an amazing effect, but the art looks really cool. So, I will I will accept. Anyway, last one is Tank Dramon. So now we have the entire Digivolution line for uh, what's it called? Commandramon. Yeah, for Commandramon. So, Great pretty tank. fucking cool. He is literally just a tank with a dragon's face on it, but that's why it's called Tank Dramon. Perfect. All right. So his ability. When Digivolving, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Digimon card with D Brigade in its traits, uh, and a play cost of five or less among them without playing the cost. Trash the rest. So that's pretty good. Hmm. I think you could outright play a Seals Dramon, so not bad. Then it's inherited. Your turn, once per turn. When one of your Digimon with D Brigade in its traits uh, attacks, reveal two top two cards of your deck. Do that noise. <laughs> you may play one Commandermon among them without paying its cost. Trash the rest. Not bad. If you're like, and like, Dark Dramon's ability is to like take things out of your trash to give you more memories. So it's like, seems like a good idea. 
All right, seems pretty cool. And that was the last one for that. Let's see how are we doing on time. We're doing good. So, okay. did you open the last one? You open the last one. Okay, you open this one. You open this one. All right. So we're gonna have a lot of organizing to do in yes. my binders. Yes. Good thing I've updated my binders to have a fuck ton of space now. So. All right. Here we go. We got another God Flame. Make sure I move this into that. Another Parasaurus Mon. Another Cyber Dramon. I'm gonna sneeze. Mm -hmm. oh! We got another Go Gatomon. I almost said Gabumon. Mm -hmm. Got another Sun Lizamon. Another Shadramon or Shadramon. However you say it. Another X Tyranamon. All right, this one we haven't seen in a bit, but we have done. Sorai. We never even said its name, but its name is Sorai. There you go. Just in case you wanted us to say it. It's very important. Oh no. There's... We got another Seal Dramon. Seal. Little diagonal there. Got another Andromon. Mm -hmm. We don't even have a. Oh, got ourselves another. Megidramon. And another oh. Tank Dramon. He like flew away. Yeah, they like to stick together, don't they? They're Hopefully not the sticking. It's more like uh, friction, like it's static. Sta it's, yeah, it's static. Static electricity. Got ourselves another tank, Jamon. That one felt almost the same as the other one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're the same on both sides, but I don't think that is. Oh, yeah. We've had like some in a row that don't have like the same thing in it. Yeah. So anyway, next one. Sorry for rushing through them, but you really you should watch the other episodes if you want to know their effects. Yeah. More whore views. All right, let me see. All right, we got another ball master with his balls. <laughs> yep. Another air Dramon. Another crab mon. Crabby. Got another laser cannon. Got ourselves another flame Dramon. Got another Megido flame. Mm -hmm. Got another. Florizamon. Got another Drachmon. We still need to get an Examon if we're gonna yeah. make a Examon deck. Got ourselves another Pael Dramon. Pael Dramon. Oh god. Got ourselves another Core Dramon. Got ourselves Break Dramon. So this is new. This is the Mega of uh, Drachmon Green. Mm. He is a giant piece of construction equipment who wants you dead. He's an excavator. He's just a giant excavator dragon. So. Mm. And he also hasn't inherited because his level 7 would be an Examon. So. Because mm. he, he DNA digivolves with Slayer Jamon to create Examon. Ah. So, yeah. Anyway, his ability is 3 from Ground Jamon or Wing Jamon. So, it works with either. All turns, once per turn, when this Digimon becomes suspended... Uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Okay, so that means if you attack, you can make it so that they attacked last turn. Mm -hmm. And then all turns, once per turn, when you have a Digimon with Drummon or Examon in its name, declare an opponent's Digimon, or deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, and survives, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like, if he were to attack, he can do it, but it's only a once per turn. Then once per turn... When one of your Digimon with Drummon or Examon in its name deletes the opponent's Digimon in battle and survive, trash the top security card. So it's pretty much using that second ability in its inheritance. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Pull it up. Last card for this pack. Ooh. Huh? Metallic oh! Drummond. Metallic Drummon. So this is like the uh, the Mega for Jazardmon. Hmm. So that's a an interesting art. He's this got, is a super rare, yeah. He's got another mouth on his forehead. He's got a mouth on his forehead. That's strange. All right. So, on play, D Digivolve 1, all of your opponent's Digimon. Then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 5 or less. That's pretty good to, like, remove all Megas off the field, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And then, if no Digimon are deleted with this effect, none of your opponent's Digimon... Uh, None of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon can Digivolve until your opponent's turn. Until, your opponent, until the end of your opponent's turn. Hmm. So their next turn, they can't do shit. <laughs> Pretty good. Then opponent's turn, when you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon gains Blocker and Reboot. 
That's pretty good. Mm. We still need a Hina. How many cards do we have left? We have about... Uh, see, I'm just going to bring them all out. So five, we about nine packs all left. Mm. So I'm going to place those over there, and I'm going to close up this box so that I can save it for later. Because I'd like to save it and put it on my wall. Nice. There we go. The hoarder instincts. Yes, the hoarder instincts always agree. Did you just open the next uh, pack? Did you open the last pack? No. Okay, here is yours. Oh, right. I meant, no, I didn't just open a pack. You did it. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. We have five minutes left anyway. That's okay. We can at least open this last one real quick. This is going to be a lot of copies. And we can do one last episode after this to finish up this series. Okay. So, for the last pack of the episode, we've got my man, the Balls. The Balls. He has no the other balls. name. His name is Balls. Now. Ball man. We've got Erdramon. Crabmon, Infinity Cannon, Laser Cannon. Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, yeah. Megiddo Flame, Florizamon, Gilmon, Jazar or uh, Jazamon, not Jazardmon. Uh, Groundermon, no, Cordramon, Wingdramon. Oh, yeah, we've seen uh, Arrow Vidramon before. Oh. We got another secret rare. Whoa, this is the X and Wait, one they keep talking about. Let's see. There's only two secret rares in the entire box, and we already got one of them. Yeah. So now we have both secret rares. That's awesome. Nice. Okay. Examon. Then we can... Well, we don't have any Slayer Dramons, but, like, yeah. we can get one, and then, like, we can actually make this Dracomon deck actually exist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Examon, one of the Royal Knights. Of the 13 slash 15 Royal Knights, depending on how many you count. Uh, he is... There is a lot of text on this one. Okay. Whew. I got to bend over. Bend over. So, DNA Digivolve 0 with a level 6 and a level 5. Digivolve unsuspended with two specific Digimon stacked on top of each other. So, if you have, like, a Break Dramon and a Slayer Dramon with everything underneath it, that would be, like, two in trainings, two rookies... Two champions, two ultimates, and two megas. So that's ten cards underneath Examon. Damn. That's a lot of cards. All right. When digivolving, you may place one green or blue Digimon with Drummon in its name from your hand under this Digimon as a bottom Digivolution card. So you can place even more stuff under him. <laughs> when DNA digivolving, you may play one green or blue Digimon card with Drummon in its name with 12,000 DP or less from your hand without paying his memory cost. You can put both your Megas out. So that's pretty fucking good. And then all turns, once per turn. When this Digimon becomes unsuspended, unsuspe when it becomes suspended, unsuspend it, and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Eh, okay effect. But I think that first effect is actually a lot more useful. So that's pretty awesome. We got both of the secret rares. Yeah. Well, what do you think is your favorite card from this episode? Hmm. I really did like uh, the Gidramon. Mm. Where is he? There's that thing. We did not have a lot of purples, but it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool art. I like the whole Gilmon line. They mm. have very good, like, not continuity. Cohesion? Co good co cohesion between all of them. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we only have about eight packs left, as you can see in the corner real quick. There you go. But yeah, we only have eight packs left, and I think we're probably going to blaze through them on the next episode. So I hope you guys join us for next time.